John Dee was a renowned English mathematician, astronomer, astrologer, occultist, and advisor to Queen Elizabeth I. He lived during the Renaissance period, a time of significant cultural, scientific, and political change. Dee's life and contributions were marked by a blend of scientific inquiry, esoteric knowledge, and political involvement, making him a fascinating figure of his time. John Dee was born on July 13, 1527 in London, England. He came from a family with Welsh roots and was raised in a society influenced by the burgeoning intellectual and cultural renaissance. Dee displayed a keen interest in knowledge and learning from a young age. He received his early education at Chelmsford Grammar School and later attended St. John's College, Cambridge, where he excelled in subjects such as mathematics, astronomy, and philosophy. Apart from his scientific pursuits, Dee was deeply interested in the occult, alchemy and esoteric knowledge. He believed in the existence of a universal language and sought to communicate with angelic entities for acquiring divine wisdom, and understanding the universe's secrets. He developed a system of communicating with these beings through what he termed angelic conversations or Enochian magic. His studies and involvement in esotericism were a significant aspect of his life and career. He delved deeply into various occult and mystical practices, seeking hidden knowledge and spiritual insights. Dee was heavily influenced by Hermeticism, a belief system that originated from the writings attributed to Hermes Trismegistus. Hermeticism emphasized the interconnectedness of all things in the pursuit of spiritual wisdom. Alchemy, a central component of Hermetic thought, fascinated Dee, and he engaged in alchemical studies, attempting to transform base metals into gold and seeking the elixir of life. Perhaps the most famous aspect of Dee's esoteric studies was his involvement in angelic communication, which he referred to as Enochian magic. He claimed to receive messages and knowledge from angelic entities through a medium named Edward Kelly. Together, they developed a complex system of communication and received a unique language known as Enochian, which they believed was the language of angels. Dee wrote a symbolic treatise titled Monas Hieroglyphica in 1564, which explored mystical and symbolic concepts. The treatise aimed to unify various branches of knowledge, including astrology, alchemy, and numerology, into a single system, represented by a monad a symbol for unity. This work showcased Dee's interest in esoteric symbolism and mystical philosophy. Dee and Kelly engaged in what they called angelic conversations or scrying, where Kelly acted as a medium, describing visions and messages received from angelic entities. These communications were believed to contain divine wisdom and insights into the universe, covering a wide range of topics from cosmology to practical magic. Dee amassed an extensive collection of occult manuscripts and grimoires from various traditions and cultures. His personal library was one of the largest and most comprehensive of its time, containing works on astrology, alchemy, divination, Kabbalah, and more. Dee's collection was an invaluable resource for his esoteric studies and a testament to his dedication to uncovering hidden knowledge. Astrology played a crucial role in Dee's esoteric pursuits. He believed in the influence of celestial bodies on human affairs and sought to unravel the secrets of astrology to gain insights into the future and understand the cosmic order. Dee was also skilled in various divination techniques, including scrying using crystal balls or mirrors, which he used in his attempts to communicate with spiritual entities. John Dee's studies into esotericism were a blend of spiritual exploration, mystical practices, and a quest for hidden wisdom. His fascination with the occult and desire to uncover the mysteries of the universe led him to create unique systems of magical practice and profoundly influence the trajectory of esoteric studies for generations to come.